We are just outside city limits and today I'd like to share my solution for a bucket load level indicator. A simple solution I kind of figured out after looking at others online. Uh, requires no drilling and just a couple simple parts you can get pretty much anywhere. My tractor is a B2301. I've got a LA435 SwiftTac uh, loader and it is a pin-on bucket. Not a quick detach but a pin-on bucket. The solution I went with was simply to get an eyelet, a 3 8 inch eyelet. I went through a factory uh, hole. It's about a 2 inch eyelet, 3 8 inch diameter. The eyelet hole is way bigger than I need but it was just what they had and it really doesn't make a difference. I got an aluminum rod, 7 16 aluminum rod and I used a rod end, a female rod end. I uh, ran a uh, die around the uh, aluminum rod, fit it into the rod end and then just got a uh, longer carriage bolt for the bucket, offset it with a uh, lock nut, just slid the uh, rod end it on and put another lock nut on the other end. These washers here are designed for rod ends, you usually you can get them at the same place you get rod ends. Um, some smaller washers, you could probably even do it without the washers, maybe even turn the, uh, the nuts around. But again, all using factory Factory holes, no drilling were required. Really just an eyelet, a rod that you gotta run a die down, and a rod end. Uh, basically I got the, when I got the rod, I just left the rod longer than I needed, and then ran the bucket up and down to see how much rod I needed. This one's still probably a little longer. And then finally what I did is just laid the bucket flat. It's not flat now but then just put a paint mark on it so I can see from the tractor when the bucket's level. And that is my solution for a B2301 load level indicator.